It is January 16th, about 1.30 in the afternoon, and I'm back at Siloam Springs City Lake. Seeing if I can catch a little bit more video of these trumpeter swans who have been at the lake for about a week now. Uh, there's seven of them here. There's two adults and five juveniles. Now uh, they come to this lake because it's shallow and the water is open even in the cold parts of winter and they are able to feed feed off the bottom. Certainly beautiful birds. So they're back here in this cove. Uh, these birds were almost wiped out between 100 and 150 years ago due to hunting for their bodies as well as their feathers. But through efforts of conservationists to get them relocated again in different parts of the country by gathering eggs, hatching them, and then releasing them, uh, the species has been restored, so there's quite a few around again, although not near as many as some people would like. If I can get a photo of one of the juvenile swans, probably hatched last spring. In the front are the two adult swans. Beautiful to watch swim. Now the presence of these birds here, as well as I just recently, just a little bit ago, saw a couple of bald eagles and some osprey here at the lake show the importance of this lake for habitat for waterfowl as well as birds of prey. We'll go back and look at some of these other juveniles coming up here. Don't know how long people will have opportunity to see these birds here. Uh, I talked to Terry Stanfield yesterday and he said usually they hang around here or at Swepco Lake for about a week or so in January and and then often move on to other lakes and other places. Just beautiful birds. I had to come back again today when I saw them out here to take a little bit more video of them out here on the lake. If they do like yesterday, they'll probably cross the lake over into the shallows on the north side and be feeding off the bottom over there. Uh, 
Now there's one picking something up off the bottom now there among the juveniles. Uh, the city lake is fed by Flint Creek, which is spring fed. And uh, so the waters stay warm enough that they don't usually ever freeze all the way over. I've seen quite a bit of ice on the lake before, but usually there are open spots where ducks and swans and other birds like this can feed.